Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the biological factors of human development. Earlier we had talked about that human development is a continuous process. This development is influenced by several factors. Out of these factors, today we are going to take up, take up only one factor that is biological factor. Let us start. Which are the important factors that is biological which influence the human development? The biological factors play a decisive role in creating beautiful diversity in psychophysiological characteristics of human beings. Yes, human beings are diversified in their physical characters as well as psychological characters. This is the outcome or the result of biological factors. For example, you take the color of your eyes, of skin, of hair, height, or intellectual capabilities or personality types are all these beautiful gifts of biological factors. Interestingly, human beings are different yet similar. See, very beautiful. We are similar yet different. And similarly, development is to move from dependency to increasing autonomy. Means small infant is fully dependent on her parents for every task. But when that infant grows or develops, becomes autonomous. So, now let us start the factors. There are six, five factors we are going to cover in this video. Genetic factors or hereditary factors, nutrition, prenatal period, hormones and sex or gender. The first factor is genetic or hereditary factors. Genes through chromosomes carries characteristics that are transmitted from parents to child. These characteristics can be psychological as well as physical. Child develops throughout life within the limits of genetic blueprint inherited from both the parents in the forms of chromosomes and genes. Take the example, the shape of your body, the texture of your skin, or color of your eyes, hair, and features. These are features of physical traits, that is height, eyes, etc. And psychological, which are the psychological traits, that are intelligence, aptitude, personality, creativity, curiosity, all over the outcomes of this blueprint. And dear friends, which are the outcomes which can be observed or seen are phenotypes. I'll explain in the next slide what phenotype means. You can see here, it is shape of a gene which is a, carries DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. See, these are strains of DNA within the genes. Interestingly, Genes also carry strains of certain diseases. Yes, from parents to child, disease can be transmitted through genes. You say cardiovascular disease or heart failure disease can be transmitted. Autism can be hereditary disease. Diabetes can be genetic disease or asthma or other disease also. There are certain diseases, various diseases, in fact, that has been transmitted from the parents to the child. The most famous apparent epidemic of this today's world is AIDS, which just transmitted from the parents to the child. See, so the genetic heritage of individual is known as genet genotype. We were discussing about the last slide, what is genotype and phenotype. What is the heritage? Which heritage? Genetic, which we have received in the form of 23 pairs of chromosomes. That heritage is known as genotype. It is important to note that all genetic material is not observable in human beings. You carry, you receive 23 pairs of chromosomes. And each individual has more than 80,000 genes. When genes together, combine together, and they come out with this much form of combination, all combination, it is not possible to manifest or observe or develop this type of combination in human body. Certain genes remain dormant in certain generations. They may become active in the next generation. So, all genetic material is not observable. The genetic material received from the parents is not manifested in one life. The 
here the point comes the observable and measurable characteristics of genotype are known as phenotype means the genetic heritage we have received out of that what are the features and characteristics which can be observed which can be measured are known as phenotypes you take you, you can just look out this this photographs these different type of bodies they are the results of genetic blueprint or genetic material what you received from parents this picture also depicts something this is a dna we have received from our mother father and similar way child develops the next we'll go for nutrition nutrition is the process by which i am taking out the nutrition nut not nutrient here i am talking about nutrition nutrition is the process by which the body nourishes itself and body tissues by transforming food into energy body is a wonderful machine natural machine which converts this food into energy and through that energy it nourishes itself and its tissues to function nutrients provide energy that nutrients what we consume they provide energy for what to grow to repair and maintain tissues of human body these are nutrients very important the various food components such as proteins fats vitamins minerals and carbohydrates combine together to form nutrients we receive these nutrients from various types of foods we consume day, day to day and in essence nutrition can either make or break the body system when nutrition breaks we will call it as malnutrition so next point is prenatal period is a very important biological factor of human development it is a time between conception and birth this is a prenatal period we call it the prenatal period is commonly divided into three stages germinal stage embryonic stage and fetal stage you can see this is your germinal stage bowl of tissues or cells a small embryo and you can see fetus now we'll discuss each stage germinal stage from conception to 2 weeks a zygote forms that is what is conception here is conception meeting of sperm cell with egg that is conception from that to two weeks that zygote forms it is called germinal stage in this stage bowl of cells the cells combine together and make a bowl and this bowl start receiving oxygen and the nutrients from the mother we we'll go for the second stage embryonic stage it is important to understand here is it from end of germinal stage that is from end of second week or start of third week to two months after the conception the bowl of cell is now called as embryo this means third week to eighth week you can see in the previous slide this is third week to eighth week that stage we call it is a embryonic stage or from 0 to 2 months up to 2 months this stage is most crucial for brain and neural system development the cardiovascular and other features such as eyes nose etc start to form in this stage embryonic stage the basic structure of the brain and the nervous system is defined at this stage very 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 important thing what and how the individual going to behave in the future is purely dependent upon the development of the brain and internal system and its nervous system that forms the basic structure defined in this stage only and so this stage carries very important meaning third stage is fetal stage the this stage begins at the eighth or at the end of the eighth week or the initiation of the ninth week you can see in the previous to previous slide this is your fetal stage from nine weeks to birth see here the brain is almost developed or developing and this is your nervous central nervous system being developed hands are formed legs are formed so dear friends there is a fetal stage is very important the system started to develop in embryo stage develops further what are the system which can be started in the embryo stage they develop further in the fetal stage the inner process of brain very important for the development of psychological outcomes is very important develops in this stage only 
and interestingly at the end of this stage before birth fetus prepares itself for the life outside the womb so this has been depicted by a wonderful video which has taken from the youtube i salute the individual who has recorded this video for their most important aspect showing how the life begins we can see this through this small video the purpose of this video is just for education and academics see so see you can very well see that the small white type of stars or that flags you see flying are the sperms they are racing for the life they are racing to meet the egg see the race for the life so beautifully so natural is a wonder wonderfully this video has been articulated by someone i salute them appreciate them for their efforts see these sperms are running racing for the egg see these sperms reach to the egg one lucky sperm will come and will enter in this egg to germinate to start a new life to nature to wonder of the nature see this sperm it's just give a signal ends enters into the egg see the next comes at the egg close see how much the sperms are being trying to enter in the egg but it's no way the sperm which has entered into the egg just enters into the nucleus and releases its own nucleus and this is the stage where wonders of the nature occurs these two nucleus combine together and they give become a cell and the start develops a human being a beautiful creation of nature it all occurs in the mother's womb dear friends this how see the dna forms a dna bifurcates becomes new cells this video has been very very nice it has become a milestone see how genes they carry you know that we have more than 80000 genes and combination of these 80000 genes is how much it is beyond imaginable now see that ball has become ball has start rolling start moving it will move through the fallopian tubes and attach itself as an embryo with the mother's uterus this is a wonders of the nature has been beautifully shown by this video again i appreciate the individual who has recorded this video see this ball is start moving enters the uterus through the tubes internal this whole functions inside the mother's womb now see this ball has stopped it has come with a covering that internal material the nature the blueprint was which i was talking about is this and finally the baby embryo starts to form see the beauty of the nature this is backbone vertebra you see the heart start beating heart forms now they will show some blood cells developing that mother has that child has been attached with the mother this umbilical cord and this from this cord you see this heart small baby heart beautiful it is beating see the the flow of the blood throughout the body this brain this is a part of the brain develops these hands are coming out these are the these are hands with fingers this is the these are the legs see and these are nose eyes and fingers are developing then all this nutrition that baby is receiving from the mother through the umbilical cord see what a beautiful scene how the human being develops this is called the begin beginning of the life this everything goes on silently in the mother's womb we all developed come through this process see this baby start moving hands finger beautiful and nice creation is culminating into a full fledged baby that is infant and these are regular process silently this keeps going on mother's womb this video that baby is speaks on as some moving very fast this has been 
accelerated video that's why it is being visible little bit fast this umbilical cord you see the rope like structure everything we receive nutrition oxygen and food what we receive everything we receive through this to us through our mother so dear friends this was the what we call it is a life begins journey of life so we'll go to next factor is hormones hormones are the little managers of human body hormone is a regulatory chemical produced by the specialized group of cells known as glands and these glands are known as endocrine or ductless glands which regulates human development through release of hormones at regular intervals hormones which are released by the ductless glands are in the blood stream they are transported by this blood stream to this destinations certain hormones are produced by human body throughout life while some are at required and specific time of life you can see in this image various hormones very sorry glands where the location of their glands and you can study here explanation of this glands is beyond the scope of this video and the last we will going to discuss after this is every hormone has its specific allocated role in development of human body for example the growth hormone is responsible for the growth of human body which is released through throughout life cycle the development of secondary sex characteristics are also the results of gonadotropic hormone released by the gonads at the time of puberty secondary sex characteristics means when you see the beard or the moustache of the on the male or the boys and the female their weight the mass of their muscles get shifted and development and the growth of hair and the growth of breast are the secondary sex characteristics in the females the normal and timely release of all hormones is very important for both psychological and physical well being is very important in absence of balanced secretion of hormones at specific times and regularly the body will not neither grow develops mature or no able to reproduce so hormone has a very very specific and important role that's why they are known as little managers of human body and here for the last factor biological factor is sex the sex of child plays a differentiating role in development especially near puberty girls and boys develops in accordance with their chromosomal setup girls develop faster during adolescence while boys takes more time to mature boys muscle mass and bone strength is higher than the girls it is very clear and this is due to the genetic inheritance and blueprint we receive from our parents and due to different different setups the body structure differs to meet the different psychosocial biological needs and the sex also influences the temperamental pattern and genders of the both the genders different see this is a child almost similar to the body growth you see the adolescents adults and see the differentiating psycho socio and biological requirements and roles of human beings and these both genders that is both sexes are important to run the society and the sex is a very very important factor biological factor in the development of human being dear friends these are the references from which from where i have taken this material i thank all persons who provided this material and other the next lecture will be social factors in human development dear friends keep watching the videos keep suggesting me anything you feel about this video you can directly email me on my email varma sudit at the rate of yahoo.com so thanks friends i am very thankful to all who has provided this material especially the person who has recorded that life begins how baby forms video and keep watching this you have any doubt you can write to me i am once again telling varma sudit at the rate of yahoo.com thank you once again